in this deck, this is the Doyle Brunson Memorial deck, we're giving away three decks, okay, to three different people. All you gotta do. All right, as of right now, no Schwartz identifies as a white cisgender person without health. Or is, did I get that right? Yeah, spot on. Spot on. <laughs> <laughs> it's soaking so wet, it's Vegas so armpit. He comes with the, he comes with the, uh, I'm gonna do, you know. No. Old man Houston re-raises pot. <laughs> Don't even get to see the flop. I ain't playing that hand against him. That's aces all day, twice on Sunday. I've been going up now, see the top going down. If you didn't know now. Good morning, everybody. Nice little uh, 2 p.m. restart. Gives us a little more time this morning. Slept in till a little after 11 right now. Uh, can really soak it in and just sort of been thinking, you know, like last night we built a nice stack. We're above average. We're in, we're in contention and another PLO. And I thought about it. And I was like, I think about it like, you know, like when you have a really good meal and there's like one last bite. And you want to savor that bite. I say that now as I'm getting fat and eating a lot. Um, uh, well, I'm not that fat. I'm 165 right now. It's not that bad. Started at 160. Um, but yeah, lost muscle and all that. But yeah, I want to savor that last bite in a sense of like, this World Series is going to be over in like a week. So, so there's magic that can still be done, guys. It's like you, amazing things could happen because a lot of these events are online. So when they're online, they're one day of things. And, you know, we can, mul we can play a tournament while doing that. And there's some big stuff left. We got a really good shot here in this PLO. Um, and then we'll have an online event later tonight. There's an online event tomorrow. There's a horse today after that. So I, I feel like, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to love every minute of it. And uh, I'm not dejected. I'm not down. I'm not over it. I'm not spent. I'm energized and ready to finish it strong. I mean, once it's over, I'll be comatose. Give me five, six days of doing nothing. And then I'll get back in the gym, get back on a good routine and get back in shape. But for now... We're gonna leave it all out on the field. All right, off we go, off we go. Day two of a PLO bounce tournament. We've got a nice stack of chips. We are the chip leader at our table. Um, it's pretty wild, like last night too. I was like average stack and I was chip leader at the table basically. And today, you know, above average, but not crazy above average, but yet nobody bigger stacked than me. I do know Nora, Schw Nora Schwartz on my left. He's got a big stack as well, almost the same as mine. So bounty tournaments what the heck's a bounty tournament you never played a bounty tournament you might not understand what the difference is in a regular tournament you just play poker in a bounty tournament the buy-in is 1500 500 dollars of that is taken out of the prize pool essentially and when you get knocked out you have to give that chip the bounty chip to the player who knocks you out so you knock out a player you pay like a 1500 dollars buy and you knock out a player you win 500 dollars. that's simple um so so far we've knocked out three which means you know we've gotten 1500 dollars back but the question I guess a lot of people have is, you know, strategically, how should you play differently? Now, for me, it's irrelevant for the most part, the bounty thing, because I don't care about the 500 bucks. I'm trying to win the tournament, so I, I'm going to play my hands accordingly. But for you, if you're playing to make the most profit in bounty tournaments, er, in the earlier stages, you should be gambling more against short stacks. If you can bust a player, like, you know, you buy in for 1500 right off the bat, you know, you bust a player where you have, like, say, 40% equity or 35% equity, you get an extra 500 bucks, it's probably worth it. So what you'll end up doing is playing wider ranges, gambling more against those stacks. Now, that becomes less and less important as the tournament progresses. Now that everybody's in the money and we're looking at the big prize, like say at the final table, you know, with pay jumps of thousands of dollars, like you're not gonna play outside the norm to pick up 500 bucks and risk, you know, winning the tournament. Again, what we do essentially is just take advantage of everyone else caring about the 500 bucks and we don't. So early on, you know, we know we're going to get some looser action if we're short that we want and we go for it in that regard so looking forward to a fun day today um 40 minute levels isn't a ton but we've got a good stack of chips like i said playing good plo i really just like i said i, I mean it was the one plo we didn't do well in was the big one unfortunately <laughs> we didn't get to play the 50k um, but we got five plo cash we have 13 caches on the summer i know it seems like wow you but you know they just haven't been big we haven't had we, like i think my biggest cash is like 80k or something like that which was in the deuce but we're, we're picking up steam right we're, we're picking up steam we're like you know the 10k stud eight the 10k deuce uh 10k 
PL08, like we, we cashed three in a row, got deep to day three and all that stuff. So we're gonna keep on moving, you know? It's never over till it's over. We can still turn this thing around and have a good series and tack on a couple of bracelets, maybe four. I don't know why I feel four. Cause like play, cause of the online stuff, you can play that and there's a whole bunch of events too that'll be like turbo-ish that we could win. So let's just do that, right? Let's finish strong on a positive note. All right, for lunch today, we're going back to Bronze Cafe. We got that Rubinator, whatever it was called, like the faux corned beef deal, really good. I also got a slice of cheesecake that I put in the fridge. And uh, a, I meant to get a strawberry something cookie thing, but it was a shake. So we have a shake for later up there in the fridge, up top. So lunch is served. I'm here early, might as well dig in. All right, while I'm sitting here, uh, sifting through some of your comments and on the, on the vlogs or whatever, I got an idea. These these decks, they're so cool. I mean, in this deck, this is the Doyle Brunson Memorial deck. It's 26 tens, 26 deuces with all kinds of Doyleisms. And he has some amazing one-liners in here. And I want to I want to I want to give give one of these away. Let's say how many we give away? Let's give away 3. We're giving away 3 decks, okay, to three different people. All you got to do, okay, in the comments down below, all you got to do is say something nice. There you go. And then we'll pick three and we'll send you a deck of the these memorable Dual Brunson Celebration of Life cards. Okay? Simple. Say something nice. So many must have pulled it, but man, is that loud and annoying, especially right here in the room. That thing last week is right over my head. We're gonna go hang out in the hallway. It's probably more relaxing. We've got about 10 minutes till we start, hopefully. We're walking in, we're walking in right now. I'm looking for DJ Rodman. Have you seen DJ Rodman anywhere? Tall black guy, plays basketball, I don't know. You've seen a famous Italian player? No, DJ Rodman I'm looking for. You haven't seen him? Hey, what the hell, there he is. What's going on? You're on the vlog now, buddy. How you doing? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Cheers. I'm going to turn this off right here. That's a line, my man. You know, it's, not, it's, it's easy to say. It's in the jeans. It's in the jeans. It's in the jeans. <laughs> All right, we have a really fun start to the day here. Things are moving nicely, making a few hands. We're already over 500K. I got a fun little hand to tell you about. Whatever. It's not like a hand breakdown material. It's just kind of interesting. Uh, three and six blinds. This Asian player with chips raised 15 player flats behind them in the big line I have ace ace jack four no suit and they're both deep so this is exactly the kind of spot where you don't want to three bet blow the pot and then just guess so I just call comes ace ace ten with two clubs I have the jack of clubs too so literally no way I can lose jack Asian player bets I call the turn is seven I check he bets pretty big I'm like this is great maybe he's going to represent with like just a ten and try to bluff me off of it I call river's a deuce he gives up but uh yeah you know flopping quads kind of nice. I don't think he could have had 10 10. I don't think so. But I think if he has just a 10, he's probably supposed to bet one more time. Gotta go. All right, we got 445,000. And our biggest sweat is not getting sick from Noah Schwartz. <laughs> My man is coughing. He's coughed 4,000 times. 4,000 coughs in the last hour. Him and the guy on his left are both half dead. Should probably go to the emergency room, but they're here playing. <laughs> so that's our biggest sweat right now. He's fading. Whatever Noah's got. <laughs> but we leave him in, as soon as one of the flare breaks, we got 89. One more and we can run from Noah. It's the only time I root against you to bust. So you can go home and, you know, take care of yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's coughing lots. So, yeah, I'm going to go sanitize the shit out of my hands right now. I don't know, man. I feel like I need to wear a hazmat suit around these dudes. I don't want to get sick, you know? We've been pretty good you know there's always shit going around in these hallways you don't get it like forget covid it's just all kinds of stuff whatever it is people's throats and lozenges and this and that yeah we've had a little bit of stuff here and there but so far so good anyway we got chips 445,000. average about 315 looks like 89 remain we've switched to hour-long levels now it was 40s on day one gives us plenty of time and we're doing good you know very much in control that's what that's 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 the way we want to be 
very much in control of every pot, every situation, every pot size, all that stuff. We got to figure it out. All right, we'll grab a little coffee. We're gonna grab one of these mezcla. If you want these, use promo code DNX15. Get yourself a Mexican hot chocolate mezcal. Pro <laughs> Come uh, those are no cows, it's too But I don't have a promo code for those. I got these mezcla, puffy, puff crispy bar. They're tasty. That's what they look like. Get yourself some. All right, as of right now, no Schwartz identifies as a white cisgender person without health. Or is, did I get that right? Yeah, spot on. Spot on. Spot on. <laughs> person lacking health, because they can't call you sick, because that would be offensive. No, no, no. Just you're a person that is unwell. And what do we call that? A non-birthing person, white cisgender male who is not well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> We'll go with that. Those words verbatim. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. All right, we're breaks almost over. I hope it gets better. <laughs> pimping is pimping. You just pimping by it. All right, so what is Bet On Yourself, son? I don't even know what that uh, is. But Bet On Yourself, who owns that company? I, I own this company, D Bank. Um, okay. Bet, bet On Yourself, it's, it's a lifestyle brand. Okay. It's not about poker, it's just about the everyday adversity of betting on yourself. You know what I, mean? I like it. I love the vibe. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you sell? You got all kinds? Yeah, I got uh, t shirts, shorts, uh, jogging sets, uh, hats. Okay, where do they go? Uh, BetOnYourself.com? Yeah, just, just betonyourself.org. BetOnYourself.org. That's yeah, what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, just I like it. I like the vibe. Yeah, appreciate you. Man. Maybe you'll make me something for one day. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look at that. We're doing this, and we're just jumped in this online tournament. This gentleman's doing it as well. Yeah, Here we go. Okay. Well, this is the gen lifestyle, right? <laughs> it what really how is. sick is it? He's playing live, playing online. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. All right. Another break. Another update. Still in this online. We got 9:29 in this uh, tournament with. Average of 580, 52 players left. We're flirting with the chip lead for a bit, but a couple of guys have surpassed me. Just, I'm not worried about that. Uh, the online event, but, which is like a secondary focus. Bullet one went down, ace jack to eights. Bullet two went down, ace jack to nines. And we're on bullet three. Um, and it's one of those spots where it's like, if I'm not gonna win it, I'd rather be out early, focus on just the one. So we're not gonna be folding ace jack when we can flip against eights or nines. We're looking for spots like that. You know what I mean? Oh, my name. 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 All right, this here cheesecake's gonna taste a whole lot better now that we just doubled through ram punts, uh, ram punts over there, rampage. And I'll tell you the hand in a sec here. Uh, well, basically, I called the big long king six. He had ace queen, come six six six, check call, turn four, check call, river queen. He got screwed. And I'm gonna try to raise his blind here. Min raise, ace nine. Okay, and I'm gonna eat my cheesecake on the break. All right, I just took a picture with this gentleman. Look at this tank top, okay? Lift the lifty arm, lift the armpit. Look at this soaking wet, sobbing thing. He's got me so he tried rattled to, right now. He tried to put that on my arm right here, as if that wouldn't stain. The rest of the night, I'd be sniffing you, right? You saw it. It's an honor. It really is an honor. Huh? It's soaking wet, Vegas armpit. He comes with the, he comes with the, uh, I'm gonna do, you know. Oh, no freaking way, but it's not how this works. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Would you put a soaking wet armpit on your shoulder while you're wearing these clothes for the rest of the night? Come on. Malasha stare, ma che fa? Ma va, ma va fanculo, eh? Come on, prego. Okay, off to dinner break we go. 1.185 averages 843 with 36 remaining. Um, we had it up to 1.7 for a minute, which was nice. And then we played a couple pots, you know, some tough players, but like playing really, really well. I do have a hand breakdown I want to share. I think this one's kind of interesting. Um, and I'll, because I, there's a couple things that are really interesting about it. So let's head to the, we're not really going to eat. We're going to relax, probably get a nap in. 
the other players will Okay, so this, <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. As soon as the break happens, I have a guy ask me if I have three minutes for a business plan. And I'm like, no, I don't like doing this stuff. I just go to Poker Royalty. If you need anything from me, go to them. That's why I got them. So I don't have to listen to the pitches and stuff. He was pitching me on tequila and I was like, buddy, I don't drink tequila. That's kind of maybe a problem, but good luck with it. You know, I hope you do well. Anyway, let's get to the, right before the break, this last hand, Guy raises, I'm like, sweet. I look in the big blind, I got ace, queen of diamonds, queen jack. I'm like, let's go. Old man Houston re-raises pot. <laughs> Don't even get to see the flop. I ain't playing that hand against him. That's aces all day, twice on Sunday. All right, let's go to this hand, which is against uh, what sounds like a Brazilian to me. And when you have Brazilians, you have to think about bluffs. They do tend to bluff sometimes. All right, blinds are eight sixteen hundred, And from the small blind, this player pots it to 48,000. So for, for me in the big blind, 32,000 more, we're about, we're pretty deep. Well, you'll, you can figure out the stack sizes um, in a minute if you want to. What was it, 140, let's see, 230, 300. He's got like six, seven, 700, okay? Um, so in this spot, I'm calling almost any floor. You know, I'm really just not folding in position. It's just, just not the thing to do. You just play in PLO, in position, especially with some depth. So I call with the king of hearts, queen, jack, four, not hearts. The flop is king of clubs, queen of hearts, six of hearts. So I flop top two pair, but he bets 75,000. Pretty meaty, pretty until like 108, that's 75, pretty meaty. I think the only play here is to just call. No point in raising yet, you know. Maybe able to wait, get away for hard comms and ace comms, and, you know, lots of stuff. I call. The turn is the eight of hearts. And now he bets 140. I do have the king of hearts. So... In this spot, I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, he may just have the ace of hearts here. We will find out on the river if he has the guts to follow through, but that's probably um, faulty thinking because if it's the Brazilian, he may just follow through anyway. Uh, anyway, I decide with the kings and queens, I, I decide to call, maybe I'll fill up. And if I do, it makes it an easy decision. And maybe there's a world where it just goes check, check and kings and queens are good. River is the five of clubs. That's not the world that he's living in and he moves all in for 360. So. Here's the situation. One card we know in his hand. What is that? Ace of hearts. Okay. He's going to have the ace of hearts here 100% of the time. Now the question is, does the ace of hearts have a little friend? Does he have another heart in his hand? I have the king of hearts, right? So, you know, it's one less heart. Um, but here's what I, here's where I went with it. Well, one was a physical tell, right? That made me believe that he was strong. But more importantly, when he's raising from small blind on that stack depths, he's way more likely to be doing that with strong hands that are like double suited combos, right? So he's more likely to have double suited than, than Badoogie hands, like, you know, ace jack nine eight with like no ace high flush draw. He's way more likely to uh, to be double suited. So because again, because limping is a thing in this game. So you're gonna limp a lot in the small blind. So when he raises, that makes me lean towards more likely he's suited at least once, probably twice. So we fold hand. We don't know what he had, but that's okay. So yeah, we were up to 1.7. We got 1.2. We're really, we're in there. I feel good. 36 left. Uh, break time. Yeah. Nap time. All right. While I make this little beet burger thing here, I forgot I'm going to have a little lunch. This One more important thing about the hand that I mentioned. The reason I can call him the turn too is because if any card pairs the board on the river, he can no longer tell the story, right? Remember we talked about, like, you can't say I got the nut flush on the turn. Oh, but now I have a full house too, right? So if it, obviously if the king or queen comes, we win because we have a full house. But if the eight, the six, if the eight of the six pairs too, he's going to have to shut it down. He can't just keep, you know, barreling. And, uh, you know, that does open us up in some ways if we feel like we can get him off a flush to bluff ourselves with any other cards pairing. So anyway, forgot to mention that. I don't know what this is. This is like a, it's a beet, beetless beet burger with no bun and I don't know, whatever. You gotta eat something healthy every once in a while. <laughs> All right, beet burger down, nap down, and the beet burger was actually pretty damn good. In a salad, went good. No need for buns. So, well, yeah, we got nap, we got beet burger, and even though it is 9 p.m., 9 p.m., executive decision. We're almost at the end of the World Series. I'm not worried about lag. I'm not worried about sleep tonight. I'm worried about focus right now. I'm going to pop one in. 
A little French roast, Starbucks style, 12 ounces, click, boom, bam, and go hoard for these last four levels, and then we bag. We got a big pot, we're all in. We try to go after the short stack. My man here flatted with aces, I'm all in, I call. We need a very low flop. We need little ones. Okay, he's got, oh my God, he doesn't. All right, I'm in pretty good shape. Does anyone have hearts? He does, okay. So we got the little ones. Wow, we got a monster. I like our hand, look at that. They're all, they have, both have ace, king, queen. We have all the little ones. We just need like a five, six on the flop. All the heaps and cheeks. What's that? A terrible flop. Nobody has a pair? Oh my god, I lose. I'm out. Oh, what a fucking stupid hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yikes. Ah, shit. Oh, yeah, yo, 31. 31. I'm going to explain the hand and everything that went down, and like, my goodness, we couldn't have been in better shape for a massive three way pot. But I'll explain the hand here. We're just going to get our payout here head home probably tomorrow is a day off <laughs> because we got uh well not a day off but a home day and then we got the 25k horse another deep run i mean i've plowed through 1200 players in these plos till really really late um several times but that was a huge one yeah i had what i have to start hand 900k 45 bigs i'll tell you about the hand it makes sense but you'll be like what are you doing in there with eight high i'll explain shortly all right Let's go to the um, steam room and talk about this hand because it's kind of interesting. First things first, replace the ticket where it belongs, man. Another one, deep run. 1,200 players, move that up here. That goes right in the middle. So that's the rainbow. 13 caches, no W's as of yet. All right, almost forgot, we get a little sprinkle too. <laughs> they're not caches, but they're worth a little bit of money. We'll put the bounties right there. First four bounties of the series. All right, so what happened, Daniel? What the hell are you doing? You had eight high. How'd you get all that money in? Well, I'll explain. So the blinds were 10 and 20,000. I raised to 50,000. Okay, two and a half times the blind with my hand, which is a nice hand. Um, I can It plays well against aces, right? Because I don't have an ace in my hand. So the, the next player next to me just flats, right? So, I mean, he could have aces, but he's unlikely to have aces, um, which is, is only relevant for one reason. Uh, the player in the late position, he goes all in for just like 250, okay? So he's only got 250, which is like 12 bigs. Well, my hand does much better heads up against aces than it does with whatever sort of hand my opponent uh, from Italy might have. He might have a hand that has this dominated, like 8, 9, 10, Jack, 8, 9, 10, Queen, stuff like that. So what's important to do here is rather than just call and let him in, we have to pot it and put maximum pressure on him and really uh, kind of force him to only play ace, ace, which we expect our opponent to have at least one of, or like a really, really good like ace, king, queen, 10 hand, which he had double suited. There, most hands he's going to have there just fold, right? Because he can't stand the heat. So once I pot it, he decides, like, I make it 575. I've got 300 something back. He puts it in. I'm like, okay. But check out the equities. Check out the equities when we turn these hands over. Oh my God. They had almost the exact same hand. Um, and my hand was completely live. I, I'm, the, I'm the money favorite to win this one. I win that pot. Now I'm sitting on like 2.5 million, 2.6 million. Anyway, it really went, you know, I just wasn't winning a lot of pots down the stretch. Was doing fine. Had about an average stack there. It's unfortunate. I hate going out like that, you know? But, you know, again, I need the guy to fold. And the thing is, is even if I call, so let's say I just flat the raise. When he pots it, I still have to call anyway because I'm getting a really good price. So that's the swinginess of PLO. Normally we play as much control as we can and try to avoid, you know, stuff like that. But this one I think was unavoidable. I mean, obviously you could just fold to the re-raise, but I don't think that makes a lot of sense with all the dead money out there. The bounty's a sidebar, like whatever bounty schmounty who cares i'm not here for the 500 bucks but uh yeah i mean i like my hand four six seven eight against the uh pre-flop pot and you know really expected uh the italian to fold i think his hand is just probably a little too good ace king queen 10 double suited he folds a lot there if he had kings he's folding 100 percent of the time 100 percent. if he has like a lower wrap he may fold as well like the queen jack 10 nine stuff i'm not sure i'm not sure if he does but either way God, we got it in good. I mean, I know it's crazy to say we got it in good with eight high, but look at the hands. Wow, it turned out it was good. So 
it's gonna be that disappointing finish. I really didn't think I was gonna bust this one. I thought I was, because like I said, I was cruising without any sort of spots like that coming up. And then that one just, mm, once the guy potted. I mean, it would have been different if I, if the guy on my left would have three bet me, right? If he three bets me, the guy goes all in. Now I would fold because I'd have to worry about getting back raised. But in this case, it just worked out exactly the wrong way. And that's that. So um, tomorrow, like I said, I think it's just an online tournament. I mean, there is a, let me just look, make sure. So we don't miss anything, but I'm almost certain. What day is today? Saturday. So tomorrow is Sunday. Scroll down. We're almost at the bottom of this. I'm looking at my phone through the tournaments. July. Wow, where are we in July? So what do we got? Tomorrow is Sunday. There's a lucky sevens flight. 10 a.m. 777. We're going to skip that. We're going to play the $600 online deep stack championship. And then Monday, back at it, 25K horse. That's the one. Let's just win that one. <laughs> we didn't win this one. Yes.